Hey, what's going on? All right, another, uh, day, another day. We just got our framing inspection, so we're ready to lay deck boards. We passed. We passed Excellent. with flying colors. You didn't even look at the plans. Uh, it's pretty. Classic. 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 All right, so we're ready to lay deck boards. We got to get those down. Yep. We're gonna need a whole team jumping on that. Big get them down job. pretty Big quick. Job, oh yeah. All right. Oh. Well, you ready to go? Let's get to work. All right. They can lay themselves. Well, let's get them down. Uh, we've done this, you know, so many times. So we're gonna get the deck boards down, get some tracking done, and then we'll check back in with you on the next portion. decking down the other day we've got Costa for all of our field boards and then we're doing a double border with Tundra and Sierra so we've got all the track saws business as usual going business as usual we ran the tracks all around all of our edges and now we'll have this really cool detail we got a piece of Sierra a little scrap that's Tundra that's gonna be our detail so it's gonna wrap around here We're gonna have it come around and then it's gonna butt into the bar. We got Ant working on that right now. So we've got it all framed up here and this is gonna be really cool. We're gonna be doing folding the boards going this way all the way across the front. It's my specialty, the board folder. The only I can do it, Ant says. So this is gonna be really sick. Ant's gonna finish up the frame of this and then we'll be able to jump onto some of the finishing details with this, get to some steps and it's gonna start coming together, right? It's really gonna start coming together. Tom, you think it's gonna start coming together? Yeah. Let's go. Why? You don't. Why are you jostling them around your mouth while you're talking? Park them. Park them on the side. No, I don't want them against my teeth like that. Come on, I gotta take this call. Uh, it's Sean. One's right here in the spot it's supposed to be. You got another one? <laughs> no, I took this one out. I took it out. That's the one I took out. No, oh, what are you doing? I'm checking, make sure you're ready to go, man. You got a big day out of you. Alright. Pro move, sharpen both sides of the pencil. I have seven. We got pen. That's for signing checks, baby. Woo! All right, let's go. We decided since we're doing a paper coping around the pool, uh, we're going to be really coming up a little bit less than if we were doing a concrete coping around the pool. Uh, we need to do three risers coming down from the deck, but they're only gonna be five and three quarters. So when they're that short, we like to make them nice and deep. 
it just creates a really nice easy stair. So the tread is gonna be 15 inches deep. It's gonna match our last three boards on the deck. I think it's gonna be pretty sick, but we need to account for one inch overhang. So really it's 14 inches, right? Correct. Here's the state of affairs. We are building these steps. We, little Z-shaped, out, back, over. Ant don't think that we can finish it, the A-team, before the end of the day. What time is it? What time we got? Don't know. Don't know? Doesn't matter. Almost two o'clock. I think we can do it, think we can do it? There's zero chance they're gonna get that done today. Zero. Got this. There you go. I feel like he's handing out trophies to everybody. He's gonna be proud of us, so we're gonna get these done. Teamwork, A team on it. Ready for concrete tomorrow. Built and installed. Gather, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, Gather, you got this. Screw at a time, one saw cut at a time. You guys made it happen. Proud of us? Very. Crowd level is about this high. Me too. Good job. Woo! Thanks, Dad. Tony tokens? Couple here, couple there. Spend them wisely. All right, thanks. <laughs> Well, we've got a patio area excavated, but we got some rain this week, pretty muddy. So what we're trying to do right now is dry this out. We've got some Portland cement, which is gonna take a lot of the moisture out of the soil. And then we've got some lime, which is gonna mend the chemical composition. So we're gonna get that down here, let it sit in for a little bit. We'll try to dig some more of this loose stuff out and uh, then we'll reassess, see where we're at. But right now, we're just gonna get it spread out, give it some time to work. It's real dusty when you open up these bags and spread them around, so. Where are one of these? Thank you. I have a question. Have you ever felt like your rebar is too masculine and it makes you uncomfortable? Well, now we have pink rebar. Rebar for women. Ding. Matches your hat. This is actually just fiberglass rebar and uh, we're getting ready to do our haunch around the pool that our coping is gonna sit on. So uh, we're going with fiberglass rebar because it doesn't have to be bonded. If we use metal rebar, it would have to be bonded to the pool and the equipment and the ground wire and all that kind of stuff. This, uh, we're just gonna strengthen it up a little bit and toss it in there. It makes Catherine feel included. included. <laughs> Here's our bell housing. It's actually not what it's called, but uh, they leave these here. These are gonna get connected into a ladder or a handrail if you have one. We're not doing one here, so we don't need these. Uh, that's what these are if you see these around a ground wire pool. We don't need them. Okay. We got some of our base in here yesterday. We have our form for the little haunt. And uh, this is just going to be a solid space that we can adhere our coping to around the pool. So uh, we'll have a concrete truck here soon. We'll get that in there and uh, keep it moving. Cause we got pavers coming tomorrow, baby. 
And what? What are you staring at me for? I've never seen anybody lay rebar as good as you two. I would say we did a rebarkable job. Sorry. All right, we got Ant. Uh, Ant's got working me. on the... He's working on the risers uh, around our steps so that we can get our lights in here uh, either later today or tomorrow. Me and Catherine, for the most part, are gonna be hopping on this concrete because she's concrete Kathy. The other thing that we're gonna do and uh, maybe try to tackle today is this privacy wall. All right, so we got our uh, little privacy wall built around the pool equipment. Uh, this is something that we added kind of last minute. We weren't sure where they were gonna put the pool equipment. Uh, we were hoping that they could put it on the side over there, but it was a little too close to the property line, so. Uh, we got this built, we set it in concrete yesterday, and then we're gonna, all we're gonna do is paint it black, and then we're gonna do an alternating decorator seven and a quarter and five and a half Sierra here and on our bar. So it's all congruent, and we're gonna have that nice alternating multi-width pattern. I think it's gonna look cool. So uh, I guess we can get on, uh, we can get on painting this bad boy. Much better than the sun. Yeah, sun's hot. Darkness. Oh. Alright, let's get to work. Concrete's here, a little early. So we just got it finished up here. Uh, we're good, we're good. Everything is level. We should be good, we should be good. We've prepared for this moment. Concrete, concrete time's always a little bit nerve wracking because uh, you only get one shot. Don't miss your chance to pour. This opportunity only comes once in a job cycle. Anyway, we're getting on it. So we're gonna lay it up to the uh, flange on the pool, then we'll put in our rebar, and then we'll finish it off to the top. We'll work from here back to the truck, and uh, should be good in uh, about an hour or so. So we got our concrete haunch done. We're gonna wait for that to cure. We've got over here Mr. Lombardo working on some risers. Looks like he's working on some content. Got it. There's no such thing as bad content. Not when Anthony's making it. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see what we got with the uh, privacy wall over here. We're getting all of this stained up black, so it's gonna disappear behind our boards. Also, you will be able to have a vantage point of the inside of this, so we're gonna paint all sides of it. Nice and black, disappear nicely, and we can jump on this privacy wall around all of our pool equipment, so it doesn't, you know, just, it's not just sitting there next to you, because that would be ugly. But you're gonna have to wait for the next vlog for us to get into coping, pavers, privacy wall, maybe some board folding. Stay tuned for that. But until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living. Crazy. I didn't know if I was gonna make it. <laughs>